What up YouTube? This video was taken on this Tuesday afternoon, March 19th, 2024. Time right now is 3.37 p.m. And uh, doing a little project video today. Uh, during Hurricane Idalia, the canal uh, went over the seawall. The canal raced over the seawall. It probably came up to probably right there. And uh, it popped these two boards up. Well, the reason it popped the two boards up is because the boards were rod in one and everything's put together here with nails and the nails are all rusted. So I haven't done anything with it, but today's the day I'm going to try to fix it. And really, this is going to be a test run to see about fixing the whole seawall. I've been in this house eight years next month. I bought this house eight years ago next month. And all these top boards were solid when I bought them eight years ago. I used to uh, walk along them. And now, like this one, it'll snap in half if I walk along it. And it's pretty much like that down the whole way. So, so anyway, depending on how this turns out, we'll determine if I go and do the rest of them. I'm not touching these 6 by 6s I don't want to start dealing with that of trying to plunge new six by sixes in the ground i don't think i have to at this point um, that's why i'm wondering if i should dump money into doing the top if it would be worth it because it won't be worth it if i just had to pull the top back off to end up putting more six by sixes into the water but uh we'll see how today goes i'm playing it on um just screwing boards to the sides of the six by sixes and uh using that so then there's good wood to screw the top boards down um as you can see it's rotted out um i don't know if there's tie backs at first i thought there might be there might not be tie backs for this seawall but when i was looking at this bolt this bolt might be a tie back. I just don't know how they would have that tie back anchored if it was, and I don't feel like digging it up. But um, I also noticed that these boards right here are rotten, so I'm gonna replace them too. And the hope is that I can just, well, these boards are just gonna fall apart when I pull them up. But my hope is that once I pull them up, there will still be a gap there and, and I can slide a new board down in there and so these are the two boards that popped up from the buoyancy of the water and they're pretty strong in the center i mean they're a little soft but at the ends there there's nothing left to them so i'm not going to even i'm not going to even mess with them um you know they're trash i bought all new boards bought all new lumber i bought two by eights to uh attached to the six by sixes and also the slide down between behind the six by sixes there um the original are two by sixes that slide behind the six by sixes but you can't get a two by six in ground contact and i assume that since they differentiate ground ground contact from non-ground contact that it does make a big difference so I just went ahead and just bought two by eight so I can get everything in ground contact. The top boards are ground contact and they're two by tens. So a while ago, I did replace this board. Uh, my dad and I replaced this one, but this was pretty much out of necessity. Like we had no choice. We had to replace this one and pretty much all the screw, uh, like I said, this is all nailed the deck. Oh yeah, by the way, this seawall and this dock were built in 2006 and it's 2024 right now they actually the people who owned the house before me actually took out a home equity loan to have a company do this so this wasn't this was done by quote unquote uh i don't know who the contractor was but someone who was an expert in seat walls but they used all nails and all the nails rotted out so i had to go through this again because more nails are rotting out on these boards when i uh screw them back down i use these like tech tech deck screws well actually i stand corrected I mean, these aren't nailed these are screwed but they're all the screws are um 
gone. I'm trying to see if, I guess maybe, I'm trying to see if these are my screws or not. But anyway, I use those tech deck screws that are like coated and um, never really gave too much thought about it, but I did go out and buy um, stainless steel screws for this project. And I think from the future on out, when I screw down boards like that, I'm gonna use stainless steel, to see if it works better. Okay, I wanna give a shout out to my friend, Brother Greg. Brother Greg, I did not know that. You are so smart, Brother Greg. Well, anyway, he uh, told me about this stuff to put on my cuts since I'm using pressure treat it. Um, he, he says uh, that this will help with rot. And I'm planning on, and, and you'll see, I'm planning on notching out the 2x8s that I'm going to screw to the sides of the 6x6s. Six and that way they support the cross member 2x8. Uh, you'll see it. So anyway, he told me about this stuff. I did not know that this kind of stuff existed. So I just got this, a brush and a cup, and I'm just gonna uh, liberally coat all my cuts uh, with this. And hopefully it'll, it'll help with um, rot. Now, eventually if I do the whole top of the seawall all the way across, I will restain it. But as of right now, I'm just planning on um, not doing anything. Plus you gotta let the pressure treat it dry some before you stain it. Okay, so far everything is going to plan. The only thing I wish is the natural bow in these boards. I tried to put it in against the bow so the pressure would be going this way, but I could not do it. So I had to put the boards in with their natural bow facing the ground because this is already kind of bowed out. But um, yeah, they slid right in there. The only thing I did not anticipate is that the water level was this high. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna, this is a six by six. So I wanna take the two by eight and I wanna notch it out so that the bottom of the two by eight goes underneath this board and then it comes flush to the side here. I did not anticipate that the water level was this high. You know, originally there was a two by six in here, not a two by eight. So, but I, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know how deep I'm gonna make them but I guess I will just put all the screws above water and then have a little deeper so that if the water level ever drops, I can go back and screw the bottoms. Um, that's the thing they recently, I, I, there's a whole political situation about the water level and I, they were doing a whole survey about it like two years ago, but I never heard an update. So I think I'm gonna email the guy um, there was like a mailer that was going around trying to rally us to protest about the water level. So they did like a survey about it. But I have a feeling that since they're building houses, they changed their water level. I would like to have it a little lower. I've seen this whole seawall all the way across uh, go the water level drop below that. So, but lately it's been staying up high, which is a little concerning for how little rain we had. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna start cutting those two by eights and uh, screw them into the side of the six by sixes. Uh, there was screws and nails from behind this wood coming out and that's how this was screwed in through the backside. I'm not gonna screw it in to that at all because all that wood's really soft and I don't wanna disturb it. It's funny how some questions just answer themselves as you go on. So I could only make this pole 12 inches long because there's another two by six under the water here going along the side of the wall. So I couldn't butt it up unless I double notched it. And if it was exposed, I probably would double notch it. That way it would prevent, give this one a little extra grip from coming up, from coming out, I mean, but, uh, since I'm not seeing what I'm doing, I'm just gonna make all these 12 inches long. And as you can see, I, I notched it out there. So um, this is gonna, this will, this could never fall down because it's resting on that. Which in the past, I've had the old one of these fall down and I had to screw them back in. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put a screw going from this new board into this one 
I don't think it's needed. I think the pressure will hold it together. Um, let me know what you think. Oh yeah, by the way, the only reason I'm posting this video is because I want to hear from all you guys to see what you guys think. If you guys think this is worth it or not. Because pretty much as I'm looking at all these, this wall is in a lot worse shape than what I thought. I mean, I can pretty much pull this up with my hand. I don't want to disturb it. But pretty much I need to do this throughout the whole seawall. And yesterday I spent $87 on lumber and screws. And this morning I went back and bought that stain stuff and that was $34 by the time I got that. Um, but I estimated after yesterday, after spending $90, that doing the whole wall both sides, this cross member and the tops would be um, uh, $1,200 probably. So let me know what you think about this so I can decide if I should go ahead and do it. Although as I'm going along this, going further into this, like look at that it needs to be done okay i got all of them in i used four screws per each i figured that was enough um i almost thought about putting a fifth screw in but like some of this six by six posts there really isn't nothing left so we'll see i mean i can always add more screws in later it's not like i'm boxing myself in but um so this is what it's going to look like when, if I go down all the walls. But, um, yeah. Now I just had to, uh, put the header board on, I guess you would call it. And then screw them down to that. I, I don't think I'm going to screw the header board to this. We'll have to see how sturdy it is, but I think I'm going to leave this untouched. Okay, 546 now, and everything went to plan. Um, yeah, pretty much everything went to plan. It's just a matter of deciding if I should do it for the rest of it, which I'm thinking, thinking I should, because it's just going to get worse. And then if the top ends up, if the boards that are holding the soil back end up being compromised, then it'll be a big mess. Um, even though I'm not too happy about how some of these six by sixes look. But if a 6x6 six six collapse, I would just either try to pull it out or take this board up and then put it one next to it. But anyway, here's the real test is seeing if I can walk across it. So I specifically have a memory of when I viewed this place um, with my realtor. I was, uh, it was a real dreary day that day and I was walking on the seawall and it was solid. But I'm now the heaviest I've ever been in my whole entire life. I weighed 192 this morning, or when I woke up. So let's see. Actually, it's real solid. So I was a little concerned. Oh yeah, that's real solid. So I was a little concerned since I only have six screws per board that it wouldn't be enough to hold it. But as you can see, it's real solid. He, or someone added, I don't know if the people who built the wall added it or the homeowner added it afterwards added like, little angles um oh, right here i guess to keep the board from dripping actually that looks like a gym special right there so the homeowner probably added that after it started rotting some but yeah now i can walk across the wall again at least this part um so yeah tell me what you think if, if you have any ideas on better ways to assemble it before i dive in and do the rest of it but i i think i might go ahead and do the do the whole entire seawall and then that way it'll be all new and then i'll wait a month and then i'll stain it i'll probably stain it the same light blue color i, I really like that color but anyway i thought i would share uh like i said uh let me know your opinions thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one Real quick, something that I thought was kind of funny is uh, yesterday when I was buying the screws, I was like, oh, I'll buy a real nice uh, T25 bit that actually clips into the impact or your drill instead of having a bit that can fall out because I've had them fall out while I'm working over the water before. So I saw this one and it came with this magnetic ring. I was like, man, that's really cool. The magnetic ring, that way the screws won't fall out. I can you know do it one hand, but I didn't even take into account that I was using stainless steel.